guys, it's Kyra and welcome back to my channel. So um, today's video is going to be all about skin. Yes, we're talking skin today. I have gotten a ton, I mean an overwhelming amount of DMs and comments on my YouTube videos um, asking for a skincare update and also an updated skincare routine. Now, if you guys are wondering why I had such an enormous amount of requests to do, um, an updated skin talk as well as an updated skincare routine. It's because back in December, it was right before Christmas, I had gotten a microneedling treatment that went completely wrong, okay? I mean, I I don't know what happened and I still to this day have no idea, well, I have an idea, which I'll get into that. Um, but I still have no idea how it went wrong, but somehow, some way, my skin reacted negatively to the treatment and I was left worse off than when I went in there. So it was a bit of a scary thing, not really scary per se, but with that one, it was just so odd because I had such a bad reaction. And again, um, like I had said, I had had that exact treatment done before. Granted, I had had it done at a different spa. Um, I had got my first microneedling done whenever I was still in Austin and I had it done um, at a, of course, a different med spa. And that one went perfectly fine. And I'm pretty sure like within the next 24 hours, my skin was back to normal, no problem. This one, if you guys have not seen the vlog, and I will definitely link the vlog down below. Um, within the next 24 hours, my face had blown up. I looked, Dion kept calling me a blowfish. <laughs> like my face had gotten so swollen. I had, I was left with like really severe like scarring and like cuts and it just was terrible. What I didn't expect though was that my skin would um, end up with really dark areas, okay. So after my skin, of course my skin had healed from like the scarring, all that good stuff, and my skin was clear again as far as the texture and stuff goes, like I didn't have this, the scabs or anything like that. So my skin had healed from that and I remember one morning, like I got up and I was like getting ready in the morning and I remember Dion was in the bathroom and I was like washing my face and I like stared in the mirror and I was like, babe, is it just me or is my skin like two shades darker? And he came over, looked at my face and he was like, yeah, babe, your face is darker. I don't know how that happened. Of course, I'm sure that that was like a side effect of all of the scarring and scabbing that I had had, um, but I was left with really severe hyperpigmentation. Like the worst hyperpigmentation that I had ever had. You could see where she had did the treatment because the center of my face was like two shades darker. But then when I would turn to the side, along like my hairline and along here, you know, where she didn't use the microneedling treatment back there, you could see my natural skin complexion. So it was like, it was like my normal skin color. And then it was like a line, literally like a line of demarcation. And then it was like dark. And it was like dark all around the center of my face. I don't want to like sit here and complain about how bad my skin was. There's probably people out there who had it, who have it even worse than how I had it. So it's not about me being vain or me being so obsessed with my skin that it was just like the end of the world. Um, so it's not that at all. But if you guys have followed my channel for a while, you guys know that skincare is super duper duper important to me. And there is nothing worse than having worked so hard to get your skin to a certain you know, level, especially whenever you dealt with severe acne, like, cause I y'all, I think I said before, like I had severe acne in middle school and early high school. So I had spent a lot of money and a lot of time, a lot of energy in getting my skin to a certain level, like the best that it had ever been. Um, and then like to go in for a treatment that's supposed to improve my skin and then having all the work that I had did on my skin completely reversed in the matter of minutes. Y'all, it was so bad. Like I kept telling Dion, like I didn't even feel like myself. Like I look in the mirror and I just didn't even feel or look like myself. Even like I had took a little bit of a YouTube break because I just could not muster up the courage to 
film for you guys. And even whenever I did, I remember I had filmed like two videos. I had filmed an IGTV video and then I had filmed um, another makeup video and both videos I not only was I so uncomfortable and so self-conscious in those videos but I had also gotten a bunch of comments about how bad my skin looked so there's that and I was just like Kyra girl you have to do something about this like we have got to get this under control get it together um because like I had never felt that <laughs> that uncomfortable and that unconfident in a while now in terms of you know what I think went wrong I don't want to harp on this part because it's happened it's done with and my skin obviously looks completely different than it did a couple weeks ago personally I think that she just used too aggressive of a treatment and that the depth of the needles that she used was too deep yes I have talked with the med spa um yes we have we have handled that on that end. I got a refund for the treatment because of how bad it went. And I will say though that even though the treatment itself went bad, the hard part about the whole situation is that it's really hard to tell if it was my skin that was the problem or if it was that she did something wrong. I know the depth of the needle that she used and um, I did do research and the depth that she used is within the proper range of what you can use on a patient. However, I think that the depth that she used was still too high, in my opinion, I think that maybe the depth that she used was too um, high for my skin type. And also I feel like because, so basically what happened was that whenever I went for the initial consultation, I had a consultation with the actual doctor. So the med spa that I went to, um, there's a doctor who, who owns the place but she does more of like the medical treatments and then she has estheticians that does more of like the, you know, like the, the treatments that don't require like medical attention. So whenever I went and got a consultation, I got the consultation with um, the actual doctor. So that was fine. But then whenever I went to get the treatment, I got the treatment with an actual esthetician. The esthetician that I got the treatment with, this is my first time meeting her, seeing her, the first time I heard doing my face, touching my face, anything. And I think that for her to have touched my face for the very first time she's never seen me before anything I feel like the treatment that she used was too aggressive also know that they use that same treatment that same death for other patients and none of them have ever had a reaction that I had so again it could have been something with my skin um I could have reacted negatively to the numbing cream who knows at this point we, we don't know what happened um but again I went to them afterwards talked to the owner, got a refund, um, and not only got a refund, but we had talked through some ways and some treatments that we can do complimentary to get my skin back on track. She could have been like, oh, well, we did our part, we did it right, something happened with your skin, so it's not our fault, it's on you, and that's that. But they did not take that approach at all, and that I am very thankful for. And they were very gracious and really tried to do everything they could to help rectify the situation and that I appreciate it. So as far as figuring out how to rectify it. So first thing we did is we did um, what's called Aerolase laser treatments. It's not severe, nothing else going to damage my skin or make anything worse. But essentially what it was supposed to do is it was supposed to help to target those darker areas. So she only applied the laser um, in the areas where um, I had that darkness. And I would say that I saw some, some improvement, not anything major with those treatments. I think I did about three of those laser treatments and saw some slight improvement. Um, but I would say that I saw the biggest improvement from changing the products that I use or incorporating new products into my regimen and getting a chemical peel. Okay, so y'all know that last year, um, not last year, two years ago, in 2018, um, I got into chemical peels and I had did three series of the VI peel. Saw amazing results, would 100% recommend it if you have ever, you know, had or suffered from hyperpigmentation. They're amazing. 
chemical peels do have a long downtime. I was like, okay, what can I do that would give me the results that I want to see? So I did, I didn't do a VI peel this time. I did what's called the derma, the perfect derma peel, but the perfect derma peel and the VI peel, they pretty much work the exact same. So that played a huge, huge, huge part in transforming my skin. And then the other thing was including some new higher grade or clinical grade products into my regimen. There are some items that I have incorporated into my routine that I have been using faithfully that when I say my skin transformed within the span of like two to three weeks, I mean like did a complete, like a complete 360. Okay, so this is the first thing. The first thing is the Glytone Skin Lightening Gel. Now, you're probably like, Kyra, why are you using Skin Lightening Gel? I have been using this only on the areas that were darker, right? I have been using it all over. I am not trying to bleach my skin, y'all, before I even get comments on me trying to be lighter. No. I applied this directly on to the areas where I had the darkness. So it has 4% hydroquinone. It's a prescription grade um, product. I'm not quite sure if you can get it online somewhere. I really have no idea where else to get this besides like the med spa that I went to. I'm pretty sure they sell it at other places. I just have no idea where. I use this and when I say y'all, like I had saw those dark areas that was left over from the chemical peel because again, the chemical peel, I had saw a huge difference, right? And then I had had some leftover spots after that. And after using this for about a week, I had saw it already lightening. And then within two weeks, they had pretty much disappeared. So we have the lightning gel. Then at night, um, I have been using the Beauty Counter Counter Plus Overnight Resurfacing Peel. Now, one of my good friends, Adrienne, who is an esthetician um, in Atlanta, she had told me about this product and she recommended it, said, Kyra, you have to try it. She had actually seen my IGTV video where my skin looked trash. And she had called, like literally she had watched it and called me right after and was like, Kyra, like I've never seen your skin look like that before. You have to try this product out. I think this serum here was like $75, I think it was up there. Uh, but again, it's the Beauty Counter Counter Plus Overnight Resurfacing Peel. And this item here requires you to apply one or two pumps to clean skin and leave on overnight in a follow up with the moisturizer. I've applied this first all over my skin and then apply the lightning gel, just the areas that were really dark, just kind of spot treated that area, and then follow these two up with um, an overnight moisturizer. And then the last clinical grade item that I've incorporated into my routine has been the PCA Pigment Bar. Now, this is also another item that I have no idea where else to get besides the med spa that I got it from. So I have been using this pretty much morning and night for the past like month now since after the chemical peel. And I have also seen great results with this as well. Again, all three of these together I have used consistently. And so I've seen amazing results with the combination of these three. This facial cleanser here is created to target your darker areas. Like it actually has like really good um, healthy acids in it to target those darker areas, to lighten up those those dark spots. So this has been amazing as well. I have gotten into the routine of using a vitamin C serum as well as using a really good uh, face mask once a week. Not gonna lie you guys, I kind of started slacking on skincare towards the end of last year with just my routine and kind of making sure that I was on top of it. I had started slacking a bit and because of this whole fiasco with my skin, I was determined to get my skincare routine back on track. So I have been loving the Teamy Vit C Tea Infused Vitamin C Serum, as well as the Teamy Green Tea Blend Detox Mask. I have been using this Vitamin C Serum from Teamy Blends for probably the past, I'd say about the past two, three weeks now. And I have been loving it because what I've been doing is I use this every morning. I'll apply the serum, then SPF, and then moisturizer. It makes my skin feel so soft and supple and really prepares it for the moisturizer and the SPF as well. Now this serum here is made from hibiscus flowers, so it's rich in vitamin C. And it's also made of hyaluronic acid. And if you guys don't know, our skin naturally produces hyaluronic acid. So having an item that has 
hyaluronic acid in it is great because it instantly moisturizes the skin and gives it long lasting hydration so your skin feels nice and moisturized and it's healthy and glowy throughout the entire day. And vitamin C, as we all know, not only helps to lighten up and brighten up your skin and even out your overall skin texture and tone, but it's also rich in antioxidants. So that means that this is a must have staple in your skincare regimen. So that's the serum, which again, I have been using every single morning. And then as far as a detox mask goes, you guys know that a detox mask is a must have in your routine as well. Now this one here is great because it's made from matcha green tea, uh, bentonite clay, as well as lemongrass. And it's great for really purging those pores because once it dries up, you guys will see that it really starts to pull out those oils and as well as that junk from your skin. And this detox mask here is great because once it dries up, you can actually see it really purging your pores and getting rid of all those impurities. And it just leaves your skin feeling nice and refreshed and super squeaky clean. So I would say that these two are have also been really great staples in my new updated skincare regimen because this one here gives my skin the hydration that it needs and just more moisturized throughout the day. And this one here really purges my pores and leaves my skin feeling refreshed and just extra clean. So these have been great staples as well. So those have been what I would consider to be the top five items in my skincare routine that have completely transformed my skin. And I mean items that transformed my skin within two to three weeks. All right guys, that is it for this video. Um, I was gonna go ahead and actually include the skincare routine portion in this video, but this video ended up being way too long. So I'm gonna go ahead and split them into two different videos. So this video here will be of course all about what I just talked about, you know, what happened with my skin and how I um, have improved it over the past few weeks. And then the very next video that will drop tomorrow will actually be my in-depth updated morning, night, and pamper day skincare routine. So stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video here. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I want to thank Teeny Blends again for sponsoring today's video. Again, if you guys are interested in trying out their detox mask or the vitamin C serum, then use code NOX15 for 15% off your order. Thanks again for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye y'all.